If you are having a problem with your IBM server, when you go to Windows Setup, there is no hard disk present. So what you're gonna do is go into System Settings, then search for Adapters and UEFI Drivers. Inside here, search for your SAS controller. Uh, there you are, EFI SAS Driver. So here you can see the uh, LSI EFI SAS driver, just pick the first one and press enter and then inside here you are able to see the controller, the LSI controller that controls all your storage um, to set it to RAID or to configure your hard disk. So you just press start you see that I only have one, so yeah, just press start. Alright, so in this process, your mouse may not work. Some mouse works, some mouse doesn't. So make sure you have two different mouse. So you can test if one doesn't work. Sometimes it just at the side stuck somewhere. You need to change the mouse. So once you change the mouse, it should work. You can use the Lenovo or any other brand. I'm using some weird brand but anyway so here it is here is where you see your uh, drives this is a virtual drive whatever so you want to do is scan your device first just to double check so I only have the same one so you need to tell a server to use this hard disk so just go to configuration wizard in the configuration wizard just press new configuration In this new configuration, they will ask you, all right, do you, if you do this, you will lose everything, all your settings, yada yada yada. But anyways, I really just want to use it uh, for new. So this is a manual configuration or automatic. It is a more, most efficient configuration it do for you. Or you can do it yourself. So just make it manual. Right, so here you have to choose this is your hard disk if you have many hard disks you can just follow what it says to use shift and tick all so I just have one so add to array and then once you add to array you can see the drive group they have your hard disk inside just accept then once you have accepted it just go to next Right, and then you add to span and accept again. It's quite a tedious thing, but anyways, kind of easy. Alright, so here you can set up your RAID. If you have multiple, you can set up to whatever RAID you prefer. Now there's only one, so there's no point. This, you can change the right policy. This is you have to choose yourself, you have to check online on uh, what is it blah 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 this is how much my size and then just press accept first you must always accept, if you press next it will just give you an error so just press yes this will show you what is this all about what is the right policy you're using then press next Right, so here again. So yeah, everything's here. So now you just press accept. So save the configuration. All data on the new virtual driver will be lost. You will initialize. So this is what it means. Initialize and then your hard disk will be used for installing and booting uh, Windows or any other boot device so just fast initialize and go and yes
and you're done so that is all so now you are able to go into the Windows Server and then you should be able to see your uh, drive inside so just press exit and yes and enter so now I'm going to show you the Windows setup have it so now the Windows setup is showing one hard disk so this is how you do it thank you all for watching famous cyber Amos signing out click subscribe if you haven't click like go to the end of my video and click the playlist in the playlist there are all my videos all at the corner and right side so thank you all for watching